hands and knees. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders and you can actually tuck your toes here. Knees are right underneath the hips. And so here we go. We, we've, we're not gonna do cat and cow, but I wanna just show. So we're neither in cat, uh, neither in cow nor in cat. We're gonna find our neutral spine. You might have to say, I'm gonna stick my butt out first, and then I'm gonna pick up my kidneys and my diaphragm, and right away your belly should be working. We're gonna go ahead and just shift side to side. We've done this in planks. So I'm going to push with my hands, the earth to the right. My body is gonna to go to the left and I'm going to push with my hands, the earth to the left. My, my hip is shifting to the right. So just gonna go side to side. And the slower you go, or the more you can think of the effort of shifting the earth or pushing the earth, the more your body will show up and engage. And not just as we usually do, like the, the concentric contraction, the shortening, if we're trying to pull something, but it's also the other side of the muscle. They're both engaged. So see how far it's untucked the toes and just see how far can you drop actually the hip to the ground. And you don't want to go all the way. You want to have a little bit of tension in your outer hip as you're turning. Very good. Yes. Nice. Yes. Keep pushing, especially that bottom shin. When you go to the right, that right shin has to push more down. Maybe you want to lift up one hand. So as you go to the left, left hand is down. Make sure your elbows are slightly bent, no hyperextension. And you're just going to start to take a little bit more load onto the shoulder. Very good. And take that with caution, right? If your shoulders, yeah, very good. And then slowly come back to center, come out of this. And you're going to go ahead and.